Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to um, start graphing the line. Okay, oh, sorry, creating equations for lines. So the equation we're going to make, okay, so we're over here still. Where's my pen? Right here. We're over here, and now we've, we know how to find M. We know how to find B, so we're going to put it together to create an equation of a line. And what the equation line does is allows us to plug in. So let's go y equals mx plus b. Okay. We know how to find this, right? That's our rate of change. We know how to find this. This is our y intercept. Intercept. That's good enough. Now, what this does, once we get this, it allows us to plug in an x or a y value to find where uh, to find the other one. So, for example, if we had all this, we can plug in an x value to find what our y value would be, so we could chart it. Okay, we'll do an example at the very end of uh, how to kind of work it, but that's not today's lesson. But it's good to know where we're going. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all of the rate of change in blue and all of the y-intercept in red okay i've changed computers here so my uh my software doesn't chug anymore hopefully although i do lose where my cursor is it's not as big with this one so first thing we do step one identify the rate of change so if we do it here take a look we're going to build our little triangle so our rate of change here is minus 3 and over 30, right? So, so step 1, m equals minus 3 over 30, which if we reduce it becomes negative 1 over 10, okay? Now, our b value is where it crosses the y-intercept, and we did this last time, which is 10. So then we have those two numbers. So what we're going to do here is we go y equals, I'm going to leave these two spots blank. Because if you look, the two spots I'm leaving blank are this spot and this spot. And we're just going to replace those with the numbers. So in this case, what's going to go here is negative 3. Oh, there's my undo button. It's going to go here is negative 1 over 10. And what's going to go here is 10. So there's our equation. y equals negative 1 over 10, x plus 10. And we're done. Now this one here, first thing we do, identify our m value. Oops. Oh, that's right. Our m value, so let's take, make my triangle. So this is up one, two, three, and over one, two. So three over two is our M. Now if we find our B value, our B value here equals 15. Then we go back over this way and we go Y equals blank X plus blank. And we will fill in our numbers. It's going to go here is 3 over 2. And what's going to go over here is 15. And that's it. We have our equation here. Now, now I'll give you a couple of seconds to kind of think ahead of what's going to happen. So let's do our m value first. What's my m value for this one going to be? Well, it's going to be up and over. So we're going to go up 3, and we're going over 4. So our m is going to be 3 over 4, which is our slope or y-intercept. So slope or rate of change. Our b value here is going to be 0. So we have our m, 
we have our B. Okay. So we can fill in our equation. So our M value is 3 over 4. And our B value is 0. Now it's kind of silly for us to add 0 onto something. So we actually don't need that. So we're just going to erase this back part. And there's our equation. Y equals 3X. Now to kind of prove this right, we're actually going to go here. And let's say, for example, so I have Y equals 3 or 4X, right? So let's say x equals, let's take this point here. Tendency to lose. So we're going to take 8 here. Okay. So we know that x, this is our x, <clears throat> our x axis. So let's use x equals 8. So we're kind of interested in, okay, if our x equals 8, so in this case, if we went for 8 minutes, how many gallons would we have left in our tank? I guess we're filling it up. Right? And we didn't know this. So we're going to go y equals 3 over 4 times 8. Okay? So I want to do some elimination here. I cross this out. 1, 2, because 4 goes into 8 two times. And this would give us an answer of 6. If you look here, where'd my pen go? Where's up? Not the right. So we look at 8, if we go over, it's 6. So you can see how we can use this new equation to get answers for anything we want, right?